Hey everyone, this is Theo from Prankablocks.com. In today's video, I'm going to unbox this latest pen display that's made by Pablo. This is the Pablo Coast 16. This is a review unit that was sent over to me from Pablo. So with the latest Coast 16, Pablo now has a range of pen displays from small to large. The smallest one is the Coast 10, they have the Coast 13, now we have the Coast 16. The largest model is the Coast 22. So I'm going to unbox this and give you some of my first impressions. The full and detailed review will be in a separate video. So let's take a look at the box first. I like the packaging, it's very simple, very nicely designed. The screen size is 15.6 inches. It supports slightly over 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. Report rate is 250 RPS. The resolution is 1920 by 1080. This pen display, it uses an IPS panel, so color reproduction should be quite good. The color gamut here is listed as 72% NTSC. In my full review, I'm going to tell you the sRGB color gamut support. Viewing angle is 170 degrees horizontal and vertical. Now this um, pen display and the pen, it supports tilt sensitivity as well, up to 45 degrees. There is a stand that is built into the display and that comes up to 30 degrees. And let's see, the interface is USB Type-C and HDMI. We have 8 shortcut keys and 1 scroll wheel shortcut. You can use this on both Windows and Mac OS. This is the schematic of the pen display, top and side. Let's take a look at the real thing. So let me just slide this out and open the box. So we have foam cushion here. Oh, they have included a tote bag. Let's take a look at the design. I like this freebie. This is nice. We have some stickers as well. These are pretty cute cartoons. This is probably the mascot because it's used in the logo. This is a leaflet that shows some of their other products. By the way, I have reviewed several Pablo's pen displays and tablets on my blog. If you want to check them out, you can visit the link in the video description below. So these are some of their tablets and pen displays. I have reviewed the A609 before. This is a tablet that supports Tilt and it works quite well. I have reviewed Coast 13 before and it looks like they have two product lines. We have the Master 10, 16 and 22 and we have the Coast 10, 13 and 16. This Coast 10 Plus, this is definitely a new product. I've not seen this before. The previous model is Coast 10. And this one, it supports 2K resolution, so this is going to be a very high resolution screen on a 10 inch display. I'm actually not sure about the differences between the Coast versus the Mast product lines. I think I'll contact Pablo for that information. Let's look at the pen display. So this is the 15.6 inch pen display. Let me put this to the side first and show you other things that are included. This looks like a pen case. So we have a pen here and it looks like it doesn't require any charging so this is not powered by battery. That's great. The build quality of this pen is very solid. It has a nice weight to it. We have one side button instead of two. The tip is here. It looks like we have an eraser. This moves slightly. I like the matte surface texture on the pen. It feels nice to hold and I think overall it looks really great. We have six replacement tips included and this is the nib remover now this pen case itself closes with magnet 
it's very well designed as well this must be the box of cables let's see what they have included we have a cleaning cloth this is some microfiber cleaning cloth we have an artist glove in a ziplock bag driver installation cd and that's the manual quick start guide let's see what kind of connections we have two usb type a ports this is a full size hdmi port so this three should go to the computer and power outlet this is a mini hdmi port and this is a usb type c port so these two should go to the pen display and all this is actually one cable so it seems like the power is going to be drawn from the usb port now one thing i noticed that is missing is a usb wall charger so that's not included so hopefully whatever computer you are using it has sufficient power in the usb port to power the pen display so this is the coast 16 pen display for those of you who do not know what a pen display is it's basically a monitor that you can draw on i get a lot of questions asking me if you can install software onto this tablet well this is actually not really a tablet but it has a tablet form factor this is a monitor so you do need to connect this to a computer in order to use it i'm going to connect this to a computer later on to show you how it looks when it's powered on the design of this pen display it looks pretty solid i like the matte texture surface i like the matte screen this is 15.6 inches this is actually surprisingly well built nowadays with so much competition in the pen display market every brand is trying to improve and even for Wacom Cintiq alternatives like this nowadays we can get really high quality really well built products but of course other than the design the build quality what matters most is the drawing performance and functionality I'm going to um, test all that out in my full review today is just a first impression video so these are the eight physical shortcut buttons on the side this is the scroll wheel there's a button here in the middle of the scroll wheel as well these buttons they have a very firm feedback very nice to click on this is a rather thin pen display on the back we have the rubber feet and this is the built-in stand at the end of the stand there is a piece of rubber as well rubber fit at all the right places this is going to prevent the pen display from slipping on the table on the side here we have a usb type c port this is the micro hdmi and these are the display menu buttons and this is the power button overall it's looking great i like the built-in stand it's very useful let's connect this to my surface pro so on the surface pro we have one usb port and a mini display port it does not have a hdmi port that's why i need this mini display to hdmi in order to use the cable i have attached one of the usb ports to the surface pro and this is the other usb port that i'm not using at the other end of the cable we have the usb type c this will go into the pen display and it powers up the pen display this mini HDMI will go here and hopefully we can see some signal being passed through and it works the colors seem to look fine I noticed that the sharpness it's not as sharp compared to those glossy and reflective screens and that's because of the matte surface texture that is not surprising because matte surface screens they are usually not as sharp compared to glossy reflective screens but matte surface screens feel much better to draw on the colors look fine i'm going to use a color calibrator to measure the exact color support so that will be in my full review but so far it looks fine let's check out the display menu i actually wanted to tap here to close the window but i cannot do that because this pen display it doesn't support any finger gestures it only takes input from the pen and right now it's not working because i haven't installed the driver yet 
so um, it's best to install the driver before you connect the pen display this is the on-screen menu so you can change the brightness the contrast the most important setting to change here is actually the color temperature so it's default to warm let me change it to user the other option is cool I need to change this to user because this will give me a neutral starting point when I color calibrate this screen later on. The brightness is now currently at 50% so let me try and increase this to 100% to see how it looks like. This looks a bit brighter now to me. Now the brightness range is actually quite limited. This is not as bright compared to desktop monitors but this is sufficiently bright and good enough. So it seems like this single USB port on my Surface Pro it's enough to power the pen display. I do not need to use the other USB port but if you find that your pen display doesn't power up it probably means that it does not have enough power. Now the power button here when it's power up it should show a light green glow. So far so good, I like what I'm seeing. This is just a first impression video, I did not test out the drawing functionality or the performance that will be in a separate review. I'm going to test this out more extensively and comprehensively on Windows and also on Mac. I'm going to test out the various drawing applications that I use. So if you want to watch that review, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get notified when that review eventually comes out. I actually wanted to ask you guys to check out their website to read more about the details and specifications but it seems that this product, the Code 16, it's so new that it's not even listed on Pablo's website yet. So special thanks to Pablo for sending this over so that I can give you guys a first look. As for the pricing, I do not have any pricing information yet. I'm going to ask Pablo about that and let you know the price in the video description below. And that's all for my video today. I hope it's helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and watch out for the full review that's coming soon. See you in the next video. Bye.